while I'm waiting for a replacement part for the bandsaw, this bit that sits around each wheel, uh, I thought I'd get stuck into repairing the other fossa panel. Uh, the other fossa panel is pretty good. The hinging is still good. It's just broken there. <laughs> so it's just a matter of joining them together again. So part A to part B. And before I can even look at that, this needs to be addressed. So there's a, a spar crack just there. It's an innocuous looking crack, but um, the top cap is cracked. So this needs to be ground back. New toes stuck in, made flush, and painted and primed and filled and painted and primed and filled. Um, and then I can think about joining it with the other panel. So this is what you need, Dremel um, with standard drum drum sander and start in, the, start in the middle near the crack and push out with a constant sort of taper, tapering out to maybe zero out towards the end of these, um, these marks. So 40 mil, 40 mil either side of the crack. Um, and a constant taper as well as best you can and the Dremel Dremel sander drum sander tool is the best thing to use oh, The spar cap's been sanded back you can feel there's probably a mil maximum depth there Tapering out to zero at the edges perfect for stinging in a bunch of toes in the middle there um this is all being cleaned, so there's no there's no debris lying around. So next up, mix up some bog, lay some um, not bog resin, lay some resin in there, and put the toes in above it. It might pay to cut the toes before you start. And to get optimum saturation, one of these. So roll some toilet paper over the top, and that will reduce your resin to fibre ratio to a fairly optimum level. Just a humble bog roll. Wax your mylars. Because your mylars are going to go over the top of that. Just to keep it smooth. You're still going to have to sand it. Um, this one's a big one. And this one shouldn't, shouldn't be too, too bad already cut the toes for both so next up mix up some resin and I'm not going to bother masking off if I do any if I do spill any resin I just wipe it off with acetone um, these are going to have to be finished anyway so I, I won't get too precious about um, keeping resin off this area and check in about 24 hours 